In general, <coughs> while you are managers or when you are in a position to be an advisor or consultant uh, going into the organization, you should be careful about the questions that you are asking to the people in the organization, whether you are talking with the manager or talking with your staff. If you are asking a closed question, there are no much information that you can get and uh, transform them uh, and then uh, conclude something, analyze and then conclude something. Uh, so you need to be careful whenever you are going and uh, talking with some people to ask open questions as possible as you can and uh, try to analyze the answers, first get the information, analyze the answers and then give the, the conclusion or give the right answer. Uh, answer to the people. The elements or the, the elements of the organization that are deals with people. Uh, those uh, soft elements are a um, very sensitive issue in each of the organization. As you probably know, working as a managers of the organization, people in the, in the organization, uh, you have to deal how to recruit the people, the right people to be on the right place, on the right time. Uh, how to uh, support them and develop their skills and performances, how to provide a salary and other incentives for their living and uh, uh, for, for the living of their families, and how to be nice when some person needs to be, uh, needs to be fired or some person decided to go out of your organization. Those are the, the elements that need to be considered dealing with people in the organization. But speaking about civil society's organization, those four elements which are difficult even in the economic organizations, in the productive organizations, are even more difficult uh, speaking about the, the civil society organization. Uh, first of all, you should consider the individual characteristics of the people who are coming in your organization or who are working with you. That means some personal capacities, their personal needs and the attitude towards job. Probably you are familiar that uh, you can face uh, with the people who are coming, young people especially who are approaching to the organizations and uh, don't have any capacities or any skills, but they have an attitude, they have a willingness to work for your organization. Also, uh, after a certain period of time, that young person who can be a volunteer in your organization uh, can get married and have children and then their needs will be changed uh, from the period when he or she approached to the, to the organization. So you as a manager or as an advisor when you are coming into the, uh, in some organization to assess, uh, but especially when you are in a position of manager, you should uh, consider very much the individual characteristic of uh, people working in your organization. Other element that is very critical is the characteristics of jobs. You know, when uh, in, in our organization, because I'm also coming from civil society organizations, sometimes we don't have a clear division of tasks and responsibilities inside of the organization. Sometimes because we need to write some project, we are writing the project and planning certain amount of activities and then uh, those activities should be implemented by, by people, by some person. You should be very clear about the responsibility and uh, give the people a clear and understandable tasks. For some person uh, to put on the right place, on the right time is very important if he or she has an opportunity or challenges to learn something new and to find some, some new uh, uh, opportunities for her further employment, especially about the volunteers and the people uh, who are young and who are coming in the organization. Even the elderly people who want to volunteer, they want to learn something new. Because once they approach into the organization, they want to go out of the comfort zone. So they want to learn something. Uh, with the uh, job characteristics, you need to offer to the people uh, in the organization opportunities to learn something new. And of course, working environment. Uh, if there are no clear systems and procedures as well, they can also demotivate people. So uh, 
most of us as a managers who are dealing uh, with the staff in the organization should, should consider also uh, to uh, provide a nice working environment for the people who are coming in, in who are working in the organization. Uh, how to, to find the alternative uh, tool to go deeper uh, in the problem when you uh, are dealing with staff or um, find out that your staff are not motivated or there is a lackage in the motivation of, of your staff. You should ask yourself whether the task given to that person, to the staff, is clear. If there is no clear tasks, then you need to ask yourself is that person uh, or the several people who are dealing with that task are competent, have enough skills, knowledge to perform the task as it is required. If there is no competent staff, then you need to focus yourself and provide opportunities for staff development. That will be the, the solution and then you should ask yourself what skills and knowledge this person needs in order to better perform the task. You should assess going uh, broader and say, is the organization have working environment, have enough capacity? Whether there are sufficient uh, clear systems and procedures in the organization that supports a person's work? Or are there <coughs> any disputes between colleagues that also bothers the, the work? Uh, and if there are, what to, what to do with that? then you should work on strengthening organizational capacity. Strengthening organizational capacity means uh, to uh, provide some trainings, organizing workshops, improve some procedure systems inside of the organization, uh, prepare a clear strategy and clear plans for the, uh, for the organization, also working on team works and building team spirit among the people uh, in, the, in the organization. But if you find out that the organization has sufficient capacity and all these things are already provided but by you as a manager or by, uh, by organization that they are existing, then is a question, is staff, is that person willing to participate in that organization? Which is the key element, the key issue, whether a person is motivated or not. If he or she doesn't willing to participate or doesn't want to, to work, then you uh, need to take care about establishing more, inst uh, more effective incentive system. Provide some awards, some, um, also uh, some punishments if they are not performing very well, but you need to establish that, uh, that kind of system inside of the organization, which is the key element, the key issue, whether a person is motivated or not. If he or she doesn't willing to participate or doesn't want to, to work, then you uh, need to take care about establishing more, inst uh, more effective incentive system, provide some awards, some um, also uh, some punishments if they are not performing very well, strengths and weaknesses of uh, your staff. If you, if you find out that this one of these uh, issues is a problem in your organization, you should go much more deeper and find out what are the specifics of uh, each of these statements that are here and questions that are here put on this algorithm. So uh, being honest in that case is very, uh, very necessary. If you are looking at your organization like looking yourself in the, in the mirror, be, uh, looking inside of your organizations with deep honest, uh, and then you can, you can improve the things. You can find where the real problem is and you can improve the things in, in the organization.